The Greens want to phase out coal mining in New South Wales within the next 10 years. To continue to mine and burn coal in an age of climate change is seriously negligent. A scientific study that compared the world's fossil fuel reserves with our remaining carbon budget found that 90% of coal must stay in the ground if we are to have even a 50% chance of keeping global warming below 2 degrees. The Greens plan would cap the amount of coal that could be mined in New South Wales at 1 billion tonnes over the next 10 years with a smooth phase out. Mining companies would then bid to mine this remaining coal. No action would see 2 billion tonnes of coal mined over the next 10 years, destroying our climate. 90% of the coal mined in Australia is for export, so even if we switched all our domestic energy needs to renewables, our contribution to global warming would still be massive. A portion of the royalties collected over the remaining 10 years of coal mining would go towards packages to assist affected workers and communities transition to other jobs and industries. Current governments are absolutely failing on climate change. The Turnbull government is trying to facilitate the giant Adani coal mine while it attacks renewable energy. Meanwhile, the New South Wales Treasury forecasts that New South Wales will mine another 9.6 billion tonnes of coal by 2056, and the hapless Premier Berejiklian guesses that New South Wales can continue to mine coal for another 100 or 200 years. In 100 years, 200 years, I mean, who knows where technology is taking us. The world should have acted after the Rio Earth Summit in 1992, but government and business have failed to to act despite the dire consequences for climate becoming clearer and clearer. We have run out of time. If we do not act quickly to eliminate greenhouse gases, we face runaway climate change and all the horrific consequences it entails. It's time to rapidly phase out coal and that is why the Greens have developed a serious policy to save our climate.